Okay, now that we have our Oracle drivers all set up and configured, we get to do the easy part, which is to actually create the data source, uh, the data model, and uh, generate a report. So we're going to use a couple of different tools to do that. Uh, the first is the report manager, which is the the web interface for reporting services, and the other is Report Builder 2.0, which we're going to use to actually create the report. Um, but we'll go ahead and start in the report manager, and the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and create a data source, and we're going to point in this case to an Oracle 11G data source. So let's go ahead and name our data source Oracle data source. Um, and we'll choose data source type Oracle. And I'm just going to paste our connection string in there and select the credentials of our HR user, which is the owner of the HR schema. And we'll click OK. And that creates our data source. So this is a pointer to the 11G database itself. Uh, once we have the data source created, we can just click on it. And the easiest way to create the data model is to um, just go down and, and click this Generate Model button. Um, we're going to call this the Oracle Data Model. And so this just goes out and looks at the Oracle database, picks up on all the uh, connections between the tables, and generates a data model that we can then attach to when we go to build our report using the Report Builder. So we'll go ahead and do that. and. Uh, there you have it. So now we have the Oracle data source and we have the Oracle data model uh, and from there we can then go ahead and use Report Builder to create a report based on the information. So let's flip out to Report Builder here and um, the first thing to do when you pull up a new report is to go ahead and create the data source and in this case what we're going to do is actually select the data source that we just created. So let's go out to the server and you can see the server referenced here choose data sources and what we want to do is we want to choose the Oracle data model that we just created not the data source itself so let's go ahead and select that uh, click OK and now that we have our data source created we can go ahead and add a data set to it so this is going to be the data that we pull over into our report so just right click on the data source uh, choose add data set um, when you get the add data set uh, box here choose the query designer and that brings up our visual query designer so just to give you a little bit of a walkthrough and orientation to this screen uh, what we have here are the different tables that are in the Oracle database um, or at least in this particular part of the Oracle database and down below we have the fields that are within each one of those tables so if we look we can click on a different table get a different set of fields below um, so from there we can go ahead and design our our visual query and in this case um, you know maybe what we want to do is just grab everything from the employee table so it's just as simple as dragging the employee uh, data over there now what you're seeing on the left hand side the employee table has other tables that are related to it so down below on the indented uh, tables here are those tables that are related have a, a defined relationship with the employee table so that's kinda how to read this screen um, this is the employees table, this is some fields within that. Let's go ahead and delete that real quick. Um, now of course if you don't want to grab the entire table what you can do is select the table and just grab certain fields. So in this case we want to maybe grab the first name, last name, email, um, let's grab the salary of this person. So let's try that again. And you know maybe something about their job let's get their job title okay um, what we can go ahead and do once we have that is we can go ahead and execute it and take a look at the data um, so this is just a you know kind of an unfiltered dump from the the data that we just selected um, so you can see that actually we'll go out to the Oracle database it'll pull the data down if we wanted to we could apply filters we could do grouping you know we can do other sorts of things in our visual designer but in this case I'm just gonna grab a list of data and click OK. Click OK again. And what we have here now are the fields that we just grabbed uh, within our visual query. And so now they're available to us within the report model, or excuse me, the report builder data set. Uh, and from there we can start building our report. So just to show you how a report might look, let's go ahead and add a table to it. Um, we'll add some data to the table, maybe some first name, last name, uh, job title. Uh, salary, click next. Uh, I'm not going to show you all the different features uh, of the report builder, 
So we'll just uh, do a quick demo here to show that it actually can pull the data back. Uh, and it's as simple as that. So let's go ahead and execute the report and it brings back our data. So that is essentially how you can use uh, Report Manager and Report Builder to go out to an Oracle 11G database and create a report. Thank you.